guys and welcome to my channel um today i'm not doing anything but cooking for you guys i don't really juggle hey i juggle too okay so today i'm going to show you how i clean my fish and uh i'll show you how i season it but this is mostly just to show you how i clean it um it's crazy because it's like super quick and super easy and fast and simple and yeah so here's my fish well, first off, before we do everything, get yourself a bowl. You got this bowl right here, okay? You need two lemons, two juicy fat lemons right here, okay? Is this something? Here she is. And you need some good old vinegar, right? Okay, there we go. And um, I'm actually using a, for my seasoning, this is called a piece. I will make a video, I promise to show you guys how I make A-Piece. Um, if you know what A-Piece is, ça passe ma boule. What's going on, my Haitians, you know what I'm saying? Gotta represent, gotta represent was what I was saying before this camera want to really cut off. But you know what I'm saying? We back in motion here. We getting this motion. All right, so guys, I got my fish in the bag right now. Um, these fishes right here, I'm going to put it in the description box. I forget the name of them. I'm always forgetting something, but I'll put it in the description box, the name of the fish. I just got it today, so they're nicely fresh. I got them clean. I like my fish with their heads. So mine, I'm not touching it because my hands are dirty. So I got mine left with the head up. Let me, let me just get through this. First things first. Very important. Please, keep your fish in the sink. Don't put it anywhere else. Leave it in there. Leave, leave them in there, okay? And not in the bowl just yet. What you want to do is you want to wash. Your hands. I am a germ of foam. I need my hands to stay nice and clean. I got soap on deck. Um, I keep soap right by the sink for my hands. And this is my dish soap right here. So it's important to make sure your hands are clean. If you're going to handle food that other people are going to eat, consume, put in their stomach, whatever you have in under your nails, everywhere, your wrists. That carries bacteria. So you want to make sure. Even if you're about to just clean a fish with your hands. And, you know, with the guy that was handling the fish, he wasn't really, like, wearing gloves or anything. And, you know. So I got to make sure we clean this bad boy good. So I got to wash off all of any bacteria on my hand so I don't contaminate the fish. Okay. After that's done, I'm going to cut open the bag. Okay, and I'll show you guys the fish. All right, he's a little small, little little friend, little friendly pervert, little one. Um, I'm putting in the description box the name of this fish. I think it's, I don't even want to guess because I don't remember. Okay, um, I had it scaled. I had the top fin removed. I had the fin on the side removed, all the fins right here. I just like the tail and the head on. Not a lot of people like the head on the tail on. You can get it removed, but... If not, well, it's not, the, it's not a big deal. Okay? Now, the first thing, I have two of them. Okay? I guess I could just wash them both at the same time because they're small. And I took them out of the bag. I'm going to let them run. I'm going to let them run under the water for a little bit. And this is rinsing them out. I'm just rinsing out the fish, okay? Got to get all that stuff out very important. Nice little rinse. They're small and this technique works for any fish. Okay guys, you don't have to just do it for this fish. This is just cleaning a fish. You understand? So, that's what I'm doing with this. Watching the tail. Get the fish head, fish eyes, open his fishy mouth. In your mouth, buddy. Drink some water. Some aqua. Okay. You wanna... Once that's done, you let it, you, you, you rinse it out, okay? You take your bowl and you put them in there. You might want to give them another little rinse in here. And make sure your bowl is clean. My bowl is nice and clean. I already had washed it. So I know you guys didn't see me wash it or rinse it out, but it's already clean. 
Okay, I'm just rinsing him a little more. Now, now that's that's done. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys to my cutting section right over here. And I'm gonna just slice some lemons. I got two lemons right here. You always wanna just rinse off your lemons. Rinse them off, okay? Just, just for safety reasons. Make sure you rinse. Cut the lemon in half, like so. bad boys right back in here now after that's done you want to take your lemon and squeeze the juices out of it squeeze the bejesus juice out of them come on bejesus juice i got four pieces in here now these fishes are really small usually i, I i'll you know be whooping um whipping up a big old boy this will do. No biggie. Squeeze. Just squeeze the juice. Squeeze the juices out of these lemons. Because this, my dear friends, actually help clean any bacteria that the fish might be harvesting in between its scales. And we're using the lemon as a brush. Okay? Like a cleaning sponge you know like and the lemon juice is the soap basically and you want to wash and get everywhere and be careful for the bones squeeze lemon juice inside of the fish okay using the and you also want to check to if you see to for worms that's another thing too I, that's a very important things to eyeball the fish if you see anything squirming any worms parasite you'll see them if they're there And I don't really see anything. So they're usually good. But it's not it doesn't hurt to make sure you check. You want to get the fins. Two lemons, two lemons of fish. So that lemon is done. Next lemon. And get all in there. Okay. Squeeze the juice. Get all in here. Okay, again, we're using the lemon as a brush. Okay, and it literally, literally would just remove bacteria, parasites, any type of any type of parasites that might be on the fish. It's a good disinfectant. That's why we use the lemon for everything. We use lemon for everything to clean. And you you hear stories about oh don't clean your meat that little that just makes it worse and don't listen to those who blogs check for check it check these make sure coloring is another thing too I don't know too much about fish and stuff but move stuff along the way to make sure you know and don't be scared to get in there. Move things out of the way to get under like little loose tissues. See, like that. Check to see if there's nothing moving in there and there's no worms. Okay, you don't want to have worms. You don't want to ingest worms. Squeeze the lemon juice in. Clean his mouth. Okay. Clean his tail. That was one lemon. The other one. And if you worry about it having a lemon taste, it won't. It won't. If you know, if you properly rinse it, if you don't want to have a lemon fish, rinse that all that stuff out, you'll be fine. Okay. Get all in here. head get in there okay make sure it's clean okay, make sure it's clean it. now I'm just gonna rinse my fish okay. okay and once we need it 
dishes, some clothes. your working table as you clean so as you cook so you don't have things in the way. Open them up. And then everything. Everything got to go. The bacteria on you got to go. the water, take your vinegar, pop it open, pour some of that bad boy in there, okay, and let it sit for a little while, for a few moments, that vinegar get in there, you know what I'm saying, so now they're going to have a little vinegar bath, a little vinegar bath, let it flop around in there. Get the tails. Okay. And this is another cleaning, nice cleaning agent for any poultry, fish, anything you cook. This is the method I would, this is the route I would take for fish and chicken. I don't eat red meat, so, but if I were to cook red meat, like some, that's why I kind of don't like eating red meat because you can't really clean it. Like, I don't hear about cleaning steak or anything like that like or pork chops you can't i will no no i'm lying you can't clean it it's just i haven't had it in so long i forget like the process of it but anyways poultry and fish this is how i do it simple quick straight to the point rinse the vinegar you strain out the vinegar Put on the water Rinse your fish thoroughly. Okay, get in there. All in there. Got the mouth. The tail. Okay. You have to make sure you try to rinse out as much as you can. That's about like what 10 minutes worth of cleaning okay it's not just throwing your fish in the water and just walking away you gotta get in there you gotta clean them make look I, being like extra still i'm mad extra bro i'm extra so i'm extra with the cleaning like i will just because it's important to keep your mate clean very important to do that. Come out again. Just rub up against each other. Get washed. It doesn't matter that they've been in the water all their life. There's the, you know, there's so much bacteria on every day. You gotta make sure. You know, rinse out our bowl. Okay. We're gonna put our fish in there. And now, I'm going to put this up. I'm going to wash my hands because I'm going to season 
Um, this is, I don't know, if you want to wash, if you, that's just the cleaning. So that was the cleaning process. The seasoning is done quick. I need, I don't, I'm not going to, you know, list how much, I'm, I'm more of an eight eyeball or measurement, sir. seasoning and stuff now I'm gonna show you guys how I season how I seasons alright let's go the sink okay now I'm using garlic salt I'm just eyeballing how much I'm putting in there guys maybe when I show you really how to season and stuff garlic salt okay parsley flakes and I'm just eyeballing making sure there's some getting in inside of the fish too right adobo okay can't go wrong without adobo not too much make sure you're eyeballing it Almost got cute there. Almost overdid it. You don't want to do an overkill. Okay. Next, we got. Oh shit. We got some pepper. Pepper, 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 pepper. Black pepper. Sprinkles, sprinkles, sprinkles. Okay. Accent. Okay. This wakes up your food. Side of your fish, side. Italian, Italian, don't kill me for saying Italian dressing, of, um, dressing, Italian seasoning. A few little shakes. Miced onions, menaced onions, sorry, what the hell? Shake, 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 shake. And notice I haven't even put the salt yet, okay? So we're not going to go crazy with the salt. Now this is some garlic powder. Eyeballing it. Okay. And then, last but not least, some salt. Now be very careful with the salt. You don't want to do an overkill. And I definitely don't want to do an overkill. So I'm just lightly sprinkling salt. You know, I'm black. We got, I got to, even though I'm, uh, I'm semi-young, trying not to you have my, my, you know, him and I drink, eat so much salt, too much sodium and salt. And all in all other seasons too, but salt is the number one cause for all that. So I kind of try to, just try to start staying away from it now, as early as I can, before the time I reach 50, which is not that far, you know. Years go by fast. You'll be surprised. Now, okay, so now I'm gonna use my eight piece. I will make a video on the eight piece on how to make it. If you stay tuned, and my eight piece is nice and fresh. And I learned this since I was a little girl. So shout out to Tati Mode. Um, even though we don't talk anymore, I want to thank you for showing me how to cook. So this is the she showed me how to make eight piece. And this is my eight piece, and it smells nice and fresh, nice, nicely fresh. So I'm taking a, what do you call these saucers? I forget what you call these spoons. You know, just mixing it around. This this is actually a few days old. I had it in the freezer. It's been in the freezer, frozen. And this is basically just a mixture of um, parsley, um, fresh parsley. Um, the, the phone cut off. Um, so what was I saying? That it was it's parsley, scallop, scallions, red, green, orange, yellow, and red. I said that already. Um, peppers. Um, one white onion, massive white onion. One orange, one orange, one um carrot. 
and um, Maggie cubes. There's a few things that go in there. Vinegar. But I will make that video. I'm, I still got parsley, so I don't want to make it. This was actually just to show you how to clean it. And um, you don't double dip this spoon back into your your A piece. So you don't cross-contaminate anything that might remain on the fish. Because, you know, until you cook it, you're not really fully safe from anything that might still be on it. After I'm done with that, I'll take a knife and stab you. Three stabs, something you don't want to be too crazy. Make sure I didn't stab through this. the bowl. I thought I did. Got a lot of anger in me. Jeez, that was, that was a, a stab meant to kill or something. Jeez. Okay, anyways. Um, that's to let the flavors go through the fish because um, I don't cook my meat the same day usually or if it's an emergency and we're hungry and there's nothing to eat like today there's nothing to eat so um, mama went fishing <laughs> and we're gonna have this tonight and I poke holes in it I'm gonna let it marinate for a few hours um, marinating I take my saran wrap plastic wraps Oops, I want to get that in there. I want to get that in food. Unrolling. Okay, cover your fish. Now, um, I'm just gonna say this. Just make sure if you if you want to make your fish like this, I hope you do. Try it out. Um, this is just for cleaning purposes, but when it comes to cooking this and showing you, like, how to cook it and stuff, I will have, like, you know, I can, you know what I'll do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to cook this bad boy and I'm going to record it and I'm going to show you guys. Alright, I'll make it a separate, like, uh, how to cook. That's, like... Stupid simple. I don't know. Drink some brainstorming. Okay, you guys are hearing me brainstorm. Right. Cooking is so simple. I don't like there's so many ways to do this. You could deep fry it, you could throw it in the oven, you could um, sear on the stove. Um, I didn't decide how I'm gonna do mine yet. Um, but when that does happen, when we are about to eat it, I'm gonna I don't know, maybe I'll make a video to show you how the way I'm going to cook it tonight. But this is for tonight. And usually I let my fish marinate for a whole day, a whole 24 hours in the refrigerator and letting all that goodness get in there. Okay, so that's how you do that. And you want to, let me take you off. You want to take your, you take now. Throw it in the fridge just like so. Okay, and that's the, that's there. That's that. That's the fish. Now, um, I have the video still playing because I'm going to show you that after you you clean you do all that, just make sure you spray down wherever you had your fish. I'm not going to do it yet because I got to do dishes. I got dishes to do, and um. You clean out, you spray it down with a, kills 99.9% .9 of back, uh, virus causing bacteria. So that's important you do after you finish cleaning your fish. And that's really just it. So, eight pieces, vinegar, lemon, all that. Well, lemon and, lemon and vinegar to clean, basically. Because this was just to show you how to clean your fish. Um, and then, um, seasoning, um, and with a piece and stuff those are you know just showing you how I season but a piece I'll make a video to show you how to make a how to do that okay hope you guys really like this video I know, I'm gonna have a variety of things on YouTube it's not even funny I, it's just gonna be a lot of stuff so please stay tuned like comment and subscribe um, tell me if you you know gave it a try and stuff 
well, you, I don't know if you can't really try the APC yet because I sh didn't show you how to, sh to do it. But if you look up other tutorials on how to do APs, everybody has their own APs. Everybody has their own form of APs. I have my own way of making my APs too. And um, hubby loves it. So, alright. Till next time, guys. Thank you.